Hello, everyone, and welcome to this new lesson for learning Spanish. Hola a todos y bienvenidos a esta nueva lección para aprender español como lengua extranjera. In today's lesson, we'll be learning different uh, verbs, new verbs. These are 30 different verbs with the ending ir. En la clase de hoy, vamos a aprender 30 verbos nuevos con la terminación ir. That means the infinitive form of the verb, which is, uh, as you know, we have ar, er, ir. Those are the three different endings of infinit infinitivo in Spanish. So in today's lesson, we'll be learning this. So as you know, my name is Daniel. I am a Spanish tutor. Como saben, me llamo Daniel. Soy profesor de español para extranjeros. And this is today's topic. Y este es el tema de la clase de hoy. Uh, Learning infinitives is um, a little, it's easy because they have a very regular form. So basically in Spanish, when you have an infinitivo, that's the grammar name for original verbs, uh, we always have three main endings. We have ar, er, ir. Algunos de ustedes habrán visto los videos anteriores. Some of you might have already watched previous videos where I explained the different uh, infinitives ending with ar, different infinitives ending with er. So today is the turn of ir infinitives, okay? Now, as you know, in Spanish, we also have uh, personal pronouns, just like many other languages. We have here, you can see three different persons, three people, that is yo, tú, él, which is the singular, let's say singular, uh, part of this diagram, this is Kim. And also we have the corresponding uh, persons, the corresponding people here, which are which, which is a plural, plural form. We have nosotros, ustedes, and ellos. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at this. And we are going to watch, we're, we're going to study an example of these infinitivos. As you know, we are checking verbs, verbs with the ending Ir. Vamos a ver un ejemplo de los verbos que terminan con ir, con terminación ir, los infinitivos. Y en este caso tenemos el verbo vivir. This is a very simple and basic uh, verb. Es un verbo muy simple y básico en español. Because with this we can actually say where we live. Okay? So we say yo vivo, tú vives. Él vive, nosotros vivimos, ustedes viven, and ellos viven. So this is the change that we have to, these are the changes, the different changes we have to, uh, to apply into the corresponding person, into the corresponding tense, whenever we want to change the infinitivo form of the verb, which is this one. So again, let's take a look at the different persons we have. These are the personal pronouns. Yo, tú. El, nosotros, ustedes, and ellos. So let's start learning these different verbs. Now, I'll tell you something before we start. The first verbs that you will see here are regular verbs. Okay, so basically all these verbs that you have on the screen right now are regular verbs ending with ir. Later on, you will see different, different verbs in different color. That means they are irregular verbs. And there I will show you how to uh, conjugate these verbs because these are irregular verbs, okay? And they have like a small trick there that you will understand very, very quickly, okay? So let's start here. We say, abrir. ¿Puedes abrir la puerta? Can you open the door? Permitir. El maestro no permite usar el diccionario. The teacher doesn't allow, allow the students to use the dictionary. Prohibir. En México se prohíben las drogas. Uh, drugs are banned in Mexico. In Mexico, uh, drugs are prohibited, right? Vivir. Vivo en Estados Unidos. I live in the States. I live in the United States. Escribir. Los niños escriben su nombre en el cuaderno. Children write their names on a notebook. Recibir. 
Esta tarde recibimos nuestros regalos. This evening we received our gifts, our presents. Great. Añadir. El cocinero añade más azúcar al pastel. The cook adds more sugar to the cake. Subir. Cada mañana subo las escaleras. Every morning I climb up the stairs. I, I, I go upstairs. Those are the verbs with ir. There are two more, I think. Like interrumpir. Siempre interrumpes a todos. You're always, you always interrupt everyone. And those are all the regular verbs. Well, not all the, all the regular, all the regulars in, or all regular verbs in this video, okay? And these are regular verbs. Now, the following, the following verbs, you, you can notice they are in different colors. You have some orange here, then you have some blue here, and you have also some green there. That means these are irregular verbs. This group of irregular verbs will change. The last part of a verb, which is ir, and also it will change, they will change one vowel in the middle of the word. So let's take a look at this one, like the verb preferir. ¿Qué prefieres? Vino o cerveza? What do you prefer? You prefer wine or beer? Look at this. We are changing the vowel e to the diphthong ye, like here, right? Preferir. A very common mistake would be prefiero. But we don't say prefiero here. We say prefiero. Tú prefieres. Él prefiere. And then nosotros never change. So you can imagine the shape of a boot here. You know, I call this, I like to call this, these verbs boot verbs because when we if, we, if we see them like this, like we have one, like the singular part here and the plural part here, like we can imagine the shape of a boot where nosotros never belong to, never belongs to the, uh, to the change, right? Like ye, 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 and then you guys also change and they also change, but we never change. Nosotros doesn't change. So we, it remains the same. So same happened with other verbs, okay? And with many others. Here, I'm just showing some, like, like a sample of them. Sentir. Siento dolor en la mano. I feel some pain in my hand, right? My, my hand is, is, is aching. So this is the different, uh, this, these are the different changes we, we have to apply to the verb, to the infinitivo. Mentir. Si mientes, no puedes salir esta noche. If you lie, you can't go out tonight. And here we have it. Again, remember, nosotros does not change. El, la forma del infinitivo, eh, la forma conjugada del verbo, no cambia cuando la usamos con el pronombre personal nosotros. And we have other uh, type of irregular verbs. Same thing happens, but instead of changing this e to the diphthong ye, we will change it to a simple sound e, such as here. You can notice the, ver the original verb is repetir. When we change, we say repito, repites, repite. And then again, nosotros doesn't change. So we say, repetimos, then you guys, ustedes repiten, and then they repiten. Such as in this example sentence. ¿Puedes repetir eso, por favor? Can you repeat that, please? Servir. Esta computadora no sirve. This computer doesn't work. Elegir. Puedes elegir un helado. You can choose an ice cream. Pedir. Pedimos permiso para viajar. We ask uh, for permission to travel, like in some job situation, whatever, like where you have to ask for permission. We say pedir permiso, right? We say, pedimos permiso para viajar. And this is the conjugation of the verb. 
Okay, now let's move on to the, okay, there is one more. Corregir. El profesor corrige los exámenes. The teacher corrects, the teacher scores the, uh, the tests, like here. So let's move on to the ones in green. Now, what's the difference here? Well, the only difference is the sound that we are producing, right? In previous examples, you change one vowel in the middle as well as the last part. Well, here we do the same, but instead of changing the E vowel, we change the O vowel. So in this case, we're going to change the O, sometimes an U sound, to the diphthong WE, such as in the verb morir. Muchas personas mueren en accidentes. Lots of people die in accidents. So notice this, we have muero. Mueres, muere. And then again, nosotros never change. So we say morimos. And then you guys, ustedes mueren. And then they, ellos mueren. And also another very basic ver verb, the verb sleep, dormir. Los niños duermen temprano. Children go to bed early, right? They sleep early. So we say, notice that we have an O here in the original form, dormir, that's the infinitivo. But when we change, we say, duermo, duermes, duerme. Nosotros dormimos, ustedes duermen, and ellos duermen. Okay, so all these verbs that we have just checked belong to the, let's say, to the first big group of irregular verbs in Spanish. But we also have other verbs which are a little bit more complex because they change in uh, they change the, the whole form. Okay, so the following verbs you will see are verbs that change in many ways. You have some in purple, so you will notice that the big change, the most important change, is in the first person singular that is yo, which will change to you will always hear the pronunciation go and then you see the other ones the brown ones you will see that they change in the first person singular that means yo they change to sco okay so let's let me show you an example this is a verb to say decir so we say los niños no dicen mentiras children don't say don't tell lies right this is a verb to say to tell sometimes so not this is the first person we say digo and then again, we do the same like in the previous example. We say, dices, dice, decimos, dicen, dicen. Take a look at this other one. Go out, salir. Salgo de casa a las seis. Notice the first person singular. Salgo. Sales, sale, salimos, salen, salen. So in a way, these are like irregular in the like the, the 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 biggest irregularity that they have is i mean lies on the first person singular okay so let's continue we say venir vengo a la escuela todos los martes i come to school every every tuesday and this is the uh the the conjugation oír oigo música los sábados i listen to music on saturdays And then we have other regular uh, verbs which change, instead of changing to go in the first person singular, they change to sco, like the verb to drive, conducir. Nunca conduzco los fines de semana. And the verb traducir. Si quieres, traduzco las frases. If you want, I translate these phrases. Okay, so there you go. These are 30 verbs with the ending ir. Maybe right now you find them a little bit difficult, but with some practice, you will notice that most verbs in Spanish fall into this category. I would say that more than 90%, 95% of the verbs in Spanish fall into these categories. And well, I suggest you keep carry on studying. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any question about the verbs that we studied today or other verbs, you can leave a comment and interact with me. Thank you very much and see you later. Hasta luego.